Hey guys, Augie Sanchez here and welcome to the channel. If you guys like Lost Ark stuff, you should go ahead and subscribe to my channel as it helps me out and it keeps you up to date on everything Lost Ark. And while you're at it, go ahead and join the Discord. I will have the link down below in the description for you guys. I have over 100 members now, I think 110 or something like that. We're growing steadily every single day. I really appreciate you guys joining in there and building up a little community there. Soon I hope we can do all kinds of raids together, viewer raids, uh, subscriber raids and all that kind of stuff be really exciting so anyway go ahead and join that and let's hop straight into today's video today we did get the arc pass with the new update and let's just go through the arc pass and look at the rewards and stuff because there is some pretty juicy rewards a lot of owning materials and there is also this really cool skin if you click on the left there you can actually preview the skins i will make a video later today to show you guys the skins on all the characters as well but yeah, I've been looking for a new skin for my Sork because she's been in the swimsuit now for ages. And yeah, I kind of want one of these. You can get it with blue crystals as well. So you don't have to buy this with money. You can get this totally in-game as well. Buy it with blue crystals. Obviously, that will be gold. But yeah, you can buy it. And then obviously, in a couple of days, people will list them on the auction house as well. So you can just buy them off there. But let's look at it. So you guys all know how the arc pass works. You do a bunch of stuff. You level it up down the bottom here. It goes through the levels. And then if you go to view all rewards on the right, yeah. You'll see at all the different levels, you get a bunch of stuff. So let's talk about the first five levels. You get any card pack or honing materials. Honestly, that's a really low chance, those packs, the any card packs, because it's from normal to legendary. So I wouldn't get these. But if you guys want to and you've got like as many honing materials as you need, go for it. But like, if you're a newer player, I would recommend getting the materials. And if you're a, like a later game player, someone that's been here since day one, you probably don't need these materials so then yeah go ahead and get the card pack i myself i'm gonna get the materials because i hate cards i have my plus 12 uh, lost wind cliff right now so i'm not worried about it my lighter salvation plus 18 and plus 30 will come eventually i'm almost at plus 18 and i barely do anything for cards because the card rng for me is just terrible so that's my two cents about it i'm gonna get the materials and see if i can get a weapon on one of my alts and then next we do have weekly unas tasks you get so many of these from the events you can every week you can buy a lot of these i have like over 70 i think maybe a hundred of each of these i barely ever use them but yeah they are there if you want them to skip dailies and then as well there is the greater honors greater honors are pretty expensive i think 45 gold or more right now on my server so i'm probably going to get that and then what do we got here healing potion so that's 10 boxes so that's a hundred blue healing pots that's a lot of healing pots i'm probably going to go with the potions on that side silver 300,000 silver you can never have too much silver so probably can go with that as well and then here we go at level five so for reaching level five you get this legendary or epic one i believe this is like a, what a 30 percent chance or something to get the legendary correct me if i'm wrong but yeah that is really good the free one you get two of them so good luck on that you don't have to choose obviously if you do buy the premium one you pretty much just get double up rewards because then you get all the stuff so there you get two of those there you get some gems there you get the potion again you get the, it's pretty much all the honing stuff on the right you get double of it is 15 dollars. i know we're all free to play andy's yeah but if you guys want to invest 15 bucks into a game you like consider it like a half every half a year subscription on something like that 15 bucks not bad value i have made a video in the past about showing you the difference between the premium and the normal rewards it's just more stuff 15 bucks if you have the 15 bucks lying around you want to support the game go ahead and get it and obviously the super premium with it is 30 dollars so then you get the wallpaper and all that kind of stuff so that's only really if you really want the wallpaper and you really want all that stuff but let's go on down to the next five levels so what do we got the epic report epic report legendary report legendary report now i really want to get the honing stuff but something tells me i'm going to end up getting maybe not the epic because those are easy to get with um you can just do wandering merchants to get epics but the legendaries that's quite a lot of rapport there so that's what two thousand there that's two four six that's eight thousand rapport over there that's quite a bit that's enough to get some of the lower reports like all the way up so up to you what you should get in yeah let's go through this the the shards you should always get the shards shards are always the most expensive thing ever so i would get the shards over there juice materials that's quite a lot of juice materials over there and it's uh, it's only one box but yeah it's quite a lot of there you can select one and obtain one of the following items okay so you can't get all three of those at the same time you just get either or but yeah yeah juice materials are always expensive shards are always expensive as well and then with the premium you get double and there we got some battle items i still have a lot of battle items so maybe i'll take the battle chest over there and then the sage powder i still have a lot of those from the events as well so i'll definitely take the rapport over there 
25 Fions. Awesome. Great. We'll never decline Fions. Free Fions. Bring them. Bring us more free Fions. We need them. Free Fions. All right. And then what have we got? Yeah, Pirate Coins. Probably won't take Pirate Coins. I have so many chests of Pirate Coins. But newer players coming in might need some more Pirate Coins. So you go ahead there and get those if you need them. But then at the same time, you also need the honing materials. So I would probably just get the honing materials. I'm going to get all the stuff on the right side. Yeah, I have way too many pirate coins and chests and things. So I'm going to get all of this honing materials over there. Really nice there. Battle, uh, utility battle items over there. We've got another 300,000 silver there. And then 50 greater leaps. Only times one. Yeah, so 50 greater leaps over there. That's pretty nice. Nice little boost over there. Let's go down to the next five levels. What have we got? Die got some more materials over there dye you have to buy with blue crystals and i'm always looking for more dye to dye my costumes and stuff so i'll probably end up getting the dye over there and then skipping out on a little bit of materials there greater leaps or jam cookies i'll probably go for the greater leaps because the jam cookies you can just get over time on your pet ranch arcane battery or battle items i'll probably go with the battle items and then over there we've got silver or seals i have a lot of seals so i'm gonna go with the silver on that and it's times five so that's five hundred thousand silver they're really nice i'm gonna go with the silver you guys could go with the seals if you need them this is to buy like some ruins and all kinds of stuff in the whenever the pirate vendors come to your what do you call them your stronghold you can get some relic uh, not relic you can get rapport stuff and you can get um ruins as well i got legendary judgment yesterday from my buddy scum and his stronghold shout out to scum thanks scummy bear and then what do we got over here level 20 some more materials free you don't have a choice there so just free materials there really nice let's move down to the next five we got some more dye i'm gonna pick that up instead of the honing materials leaps essence i don't do that much life skilling so i'm probably gonna go with the juice materials over there but we got epic trade skill so life skill or shards like i said always get the shards no matter what it is on the left it's got to be something really nice on the left like maybe a legendary card back or something before i'll swap swap the shards for it because shards are really expensive and you always need a lot of shards especially at the later levels i know i have a lot there on my sock but i have stopped holding it for a long time and then what do we got there some more tools or sage powder i'll probably take the sage powder over there because i can make my own tools pretty easily and then what do we got there another box that is a pretty nice juicy box there probably get the solar protections on there because those are the most expensive so the most value for them and then moving on to the last five levels, we got some more dye. Definitely pick up the dye. So all in all, there's like 90 dye from this. That's really nice. I like that. And over here, we have Aureus Fusion Material or any card packs. You guys know my opinion on any card packs. I don't like any card packs. Too much RNG. So I'm going to go with the Fusion Materials. Another any card packs or Life Shards. We're going with the Life Shards. And then Legendary to Rare for Silver. Mm, that's a that's a tough one there 500,000 silver which you can just make back from low pang slaves all the chance at the legendary i believe that's like what an eight percent chance or something for legendary card over there i'm undecided on that one let me guys know what you guys think in down below in the comments oh and then the last one 25 fions or legendary card pack honestly i would say the legendary card pack because that could be a lighter salvation piece in there you never know but the Fions you can always just get with gold later on. So that's uh, that's uh, RNG on the Legendary when you're going to get another one. But the Fions is just time. Just effort and gold. So I would honestly go with the card pack on this one. But at 29, I have no idea what I'm going to get there. or will figure it out when I get there. Also, you do get the mount if you buy the premium one. Last time they had this connected to the normal level. So you could just get the mount without buying. So I guess that's a little bit of a downer there. But uh, yeah. So the mount you have to buy the premium version which is $15 if you want to get the moose mount mount dawn ice bloom deer something like that. oh it's a deer not a moose my bad sorry canadians in chat uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to this arc bar so it's looking pretty juicy looks nice i might get the premium one i'm not sure we'll think about it but i'll just do it for you guys for content to show you the difference we might do like i did last time get the premium pass and save all the materials and use it on one character to see how much it actually helps whether that 15 bucks is worth it or not but thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video drop a subscribe and a like it helps me out so much and i will catch you guys in the next one okay say now run free and dive into the sky Hear the